fucking talk golden to me. It's my dream to have a golden beard. <laughs> Younger but looks older. I'll even try a squat. Here we go. The, uh, the uh, six of clubs. The golden. Welcome to another episode of the Talk Golden to Me video podcast show. Your host, Evan Golden, Golden TV, here in the studios, as always, at the Berman Law Group. Today, I am a very lucky man. I get to speak with the creator, the founder of the Brewkini fashion line, the hottest bikinis in the market. Summer might be over here in South Florida, but we wear bikinis year-round. Bruna Lima, welcome to the show. Thank you. No, it is, listen, it is an honor Besides from following you with our Instagram, when Instagram first came out, it's awesome to see you as a, as a businesswoman, as an entrepreneur, and what you've done with your bikini line. So I want to talk to you about your business, how you even created it, what made you even launch it. I want to learn a lot more about Instagram, and I want to get to know more about Bruna Lima. Although you do post a lot on social media, I'm following the stories, I'm double tapping all the pics, <laughs> you know. Yep. You know, you always write back to me, which is very nice of you. Yeah, I always write back. I try to write back to everyone, but it gets hard, you know. That's and tough. Yeah, you get a lot really of comments hard. in there. Yeah. Like when you do a new post, is it just like, just like nonstop the feed? Yeah, I don't leave the notifications on because it gets kind of like overwhelming. But I do try to respond to everyone that gets in there at least like the first 20 minutes, you know, and then I stop. But I try to keep it going. It's hard. Absolutely. You get, a, you get a lot of action. So maybe our viewers and listeners don't really know who Bruna Lima is. Maybe they've seen you on Instagram or social media. You're always being reposted on all the hottest, you know, bikini sites and fitness sites. And you really promote, you know, every time I'm eating, I kind of think of you too. I'm like, what would Bruna say when I'm eating this cheeseburger with French fries? Tell our viewers and listeners who Bruna is as a person. So my name is Bruna Lima. If you don't know me, I am the founder of Brukinis. I also am a fitness model. I work with Bang Energy and many different fashion brands online as well. So I see you with a lot of brands. Bang Energy, that's an energy drink, I'm assuming. Right, yeah. Tell I've me been... a little about them because you're making some, You're they're lucky to have you. You're making some awesome videos, well edited, like great music. Yeah, so I've been with them ever since they were Redline, so before they were even Bang Energy. So I love their products. I'm like, I drink everything. I actually love it. It's like every single day I wake up, I have a bang shot or an energy drink to keep me going throughout my day. And um, so for them, I basically just do video posts monthly and, um, yeah, help promote them. Let me ask you this because you're, you're definitely a fitness enthusiast. I know you love fitness. I know you love working out. I always thought these drinks have, like, a lot of sugar and they were not healthy for you. So educate me dispel that misconception yeah so bang energy actually has zero sugar okay and it has bcaa's it has um coq10 it has creatine so it actually has like vitamins and minerals it's not what people think you know it's not your average energy drink so it's actually good for you i feel good after i drink it see i didn't know that see yeah. i always thought i had to stay away from those no so. no it's so good you have to drink those <laughs> and they taste all the flavors yeah, the flavors are, like one's better than the other every time they release a new flavor it just gets better and better which is crazy like i don't think there's one flavor that i don't like so what's your like title with them are you like a spokesmodel brand ambassador what's no, the title? just an elite an elite right with so they have, energy. Like, yeah they have different and like, you love it so i'm assuming when you're lining yourself up with brands and, and there's probably only so many you can really line right. yourself up with you truly have to love the product, right? Yeah, because it gets overwhelming. You know, so many brands want to work with you. So you have to like be, you have to pick and choose like who you want to represent. And I like to represent companies that actually believe in their products and like, like their stuff. And I have my own brand as well. So I don't want to like overwhelm my viewers with a bunch of ads. So I want to make sure that I actually believe in what I'm promoting and just be picky, you know? Yeah, so you're only, it looks, at least from what I'm seeing here, you're lined with Bang Energy now, mm -hmm. um, Fashion Nova. And yeah. is there one other one? I mean, I do post here and there for other companies, too, but mainly just Fashion Nova, Bang, and my my brand, Burkini. And you have the Burkini. Yeah. And what is Fashion Nova? It's a clothing brand. I see that all, I see yeah, that yeah, all the time. Yeah, all over the place. Fashion Nova and all these. Yeah. So it's just like an online e-commerce for clothing? Right. yeah. Got it, got it. So Fashion Nova, now... Do you promote, like, do you get promo codes if they're following you or anything like that? Um, or is it mainly just promoting the website? Yeah, just the brand? promoting what I'm wearing and the outfits. I don't really have any, like, promo codes. I don't really get commission from them. Do they have the, really... all designer stuff on Fashion Nova? Or is no, it, no. What is it? It's just their own brand. So, just all their own brand. Yeah. Got it. So, right, so I'm learning about Fashion Nova. Right. So. I think they get, like, new trends that they see online and they just make the same thing and resell it. I think that's cool that you're not being, I guess, greedy, so to say, and just want to have, like, Every ad you do is sponsored, sponsored, sponsored. You're doing some real stuff that people could really get to know you. Yeah, yeah. It seems that you take a lot of pride in like being, uh, you're kind of motivating. You're very inspiring to a lot of people from a fitness, healthy lifestyle standpoint. I feel like that's important too. Like if you want to, um, you just want to be real, you know, you don't want to 
flood your feed with ads, you know? At the same time, you want to keep things organic. What do you love about Instagram? What do I love about Instagram? What I love about Instagram, I think, is like the people it connects me with, for sure. And uh, just being able to do what I love, honestly. Like, every day I wake up and I'm like, wow, this is amazing. I get to create. Before when I started Instagram, I just genuinely liked to post photos, you know? I didn't know that you could... I didn't know that you could do all, so many things with Instagram. It's actually amazing. If you go about it the right way, there's so much you can do on the platform, and that's why I love it. What do you hate about it? What do I hate about Instagram? How people only showcase the good things going on in their life. So everyone's like, oh, my God, they have such an amazing life, but they don't really show the struggle and how, like, they're not real, you know? Some people aren't, just aren't real on there. I think it's important to be authentic. I think. Yeah, for sure. I think, you know, at least what I'm seeing is that more people are real in their stories and then on their posts and their feeds, they kind of, you know, they're going to show the best of the best. Yeah. So I think is where you have to follow people's stories to really kind of sometimes. But even that, they're only showing you, you know. The yeah, good, it can be post. misleading for sure. Certainly. And then people get this outlook of you from your Instagram and they think like you're this stuck up person, but really that's not how you are. So when people meet me there in real life, they're like, oh my God, you're so nice. I'm like, well, what'd you expect, you know? Yeah, I think that's I think that is that's one of the reasons I wanted to have you on the show is people see you and they, and, and and they see your perfect body. Right. Take take the perfect time body it is and but listen, you work your you work your butt off for Oh yeah, I've been working out since the, I was like 16 years old. I've been on Instagram like doing this since I was 16. That's what people don't understand. They're like everyone just wants hands out, handouts, you know? And they don't realize that this takes time. Like I've been doing this forever since I was 16, literally. Are you used to the negative comments because all the shade, the hate that gets thrown out there? Um, You know what? Like, I don't really get negative comments anymore, as crazy as that sounds. Like, when I started off, I used to get a lot, a lot of shade, a lot of hate. But, like, now I don't even delete comments anymore. Like, there'll be, like, one person or, like, one or two people. But for the most part, it's all positive, which is crazy because in the beginning, I would be – Honestly, there were times where I wanted to just, like, give up on Instagram because people are so mean. Mm -hmm. They, like, troll you for no reason. They don't know you, and they just feel the need to talk to you, like, talk negative about you. Like, oh, your butt is fake. This, and, like, there's no way. Like, you know, like, it's pathetic. So, but I now, saw you had to make a reaction video to that. I mean, that had yeah. to honestly probably be disappointing to you because you eat right. You're in the gym every day working out, working out, learning the right ways to work out, and then – Still, people are writing, you know, you're fake, your butt is fake. Yeah, I didn't want to give into it, but at the same time, I'm like, I have to. to. I have to do this. And it took me so long because I was like, I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. And then someone's like, you just have to do it. Just do it, you know? And it's like me talking is still – people are going to believe what they want to believe anyways. But I wanted to, like, even take it further and go to, like, an actual doctor. I saw another Instagram girl that did that and had, the, like, the doctor analyze her um, butt and make sure, like, there was no implants or anything altered. But then again, like people are gonna be like, they'll find their way to say, oh, you could have paid that doctor to say that. You know, they'll they'll say anything. We have a live. This is a we have a screening app right here, so I could just scan you with this right here, and we could see okay. that it's all natural. <laughs> Listen, you work hard. Um, what about? Do you give advice for people that, you know, want to be? I, I always like to ask people this question before I go move on to that: is what percentage do you think, you know, health is? Or if you want to get physically fit for diet compared to exercise, you always I hear crazy percentages, crazy numbers. Like where do you put it? Like hey, I want to lose weight, I want to get in shape. How important? Where do you put fitness and I think, and, and meals? What you're eating? I What's think everyone's body is different, you know. So, but for me personally, like seventy percent um, eating right, thirty percent training. You know, that's my percentage. But I feel like. I know my body. I know what I have to do to look a certain way and what I have to eat, you know? And I'm allergic to a lot of things, so that helps me out a lot. I can't have gluten. I can't have dairy. I can't have eggs, so. Can't have eggs? No, and, like, if you think about it, everything that's bad for you has that. Like, pizza, ice cream. Like, I can't have any of that. I can't enjoy it. Well, I could have gluten-free, dairy-free ice cream and pizza. It just doesn't taste the same. It's, like, not the same. Okay. So I'd rather just not have it. So, a, there's an interesting fact about Bruno that right. we didn't know. So I'm gluten free, dairy free, and I don't eat eggs. People but are I'm like, not vegan. People like, I have meat. Be like, I wish I was allergic to all that. Yeah. So I didn't. I wasn't always allergic to it. That's that's what sucks. That it like just. Oh, so you had the taste of it before? Yeah. Right. And I love it. You know, I'm Brazilian, so I love like desserts and all that. All the stuff. Is that's there a bad. food out there you, you wish just didn't exist? Like you have no willpower when it's around. Um, pizza. But I mean, I've learned to have willpower now because I just get so sick that like it's not worth it. But I love, love pizza. I actually won a pizza eating contest, which I'm not proud about. <laughs> um, I ate 24 slices of pizza in 30 minutes without throwing up. How did you do that? Yep. I don't know. I love pizza, I'm telling you. You're I won $2,500, though, so I'm what, proud of that. <laughs> what are you, a competitive eater on the side? Right. 
Don't that, tell anyone. <laughs> that's impressive. I know. I knew I was going to win, too. I I saw all the boxes of pizza. I'm like, I got this. I used to do this, like, for fun. I used to order, like, a Papa John's, like, medium pizza and just down it all by myself. So Is there a strategy? Are you just, like, inhaling? Are you enjoying? Well, honestly, the people that are, I was competing against, they were drinking soda while they were eating pizza, and they weren't having um, cheese pizza. They were having pizza with toppings. So I knew I was going to win. I was like, I got this one in the bag. Yeah, the carbs will just fill up the stomach. Mm-hmm. Look at you. I didn't know you were a competitive eater. I know. Me neither. When people meet you, though, they're probably like, she would never eat like oh, that. Oh, right? I know. But then they see me eat, and they're kind of like, whoa, like this girl can eat. And I'm not embarrassed to eat. Like, everyone that knows me knows that I can eat. I'll eat. <laughs> if, if, like, it's around and I can eat it, like, I'll eat it. <laughs> well, I think it. Look, I think it's important. It's all moderation, obviously. But you work out still. So you know you're like, hey, I'm going to eat whatever I want. I'm burning these calories the next day. Yeah. I mean, I obviously don't eat like that all the time you know but um like last night was taco tuesday i went out i had tacos you know i just i feed myself whenever i feel like i need to eat i'll eat and i know that i like you said i work out hard so to me i don't feel guilty after indulging in tacos i love taco tuesday taco tuesday it's my favorite day of the week <laughs> it stinks that people are only eating tacos though one day a week now they like uh, you know they made at least you're getting in once a week now yeah it's like tacos on thursday you missed it it was tuesday you could only have it <laughs> i'll have tacos whenever it's around <laughs> tuesday or not where'd you go out last night i went to el camino yeah do a lot of people recognize you and want to talk to you because you're um yeah th- th- let me tell you why because if i'm on instagram and, and i'm in deerfield beach or miami if i'm fort lauder you're in the top post for every city from west palm beach to like that's what i try to Key do west you, you know what you're doing on social <laughs> media so because like these little cities you know like not a lot of people tag them but it's important to get recognition in these cities as well you know and just be known here which that's what I try to do the most is like tag like Deerfield and like Boca because that's where I spend a lot of my time. That's where I'm from. And so I want to be known here too. But at the same time, it's so like small that, yeah, people do notice me when I'm out. And I feel like sometimes like they get intimidated, like I was telling you, because they have this perception of me, which is not who I really am. You know, I'm so nice to everyone that I meet. And then some people will like approach me and they're like, oh, can I have a picture? And I'm like, yeah, of course. And then others will just, I'll just like see them talking to their friends. And like, I know, you know, like you pick up on those but sort of things. you think you're pretty intimidating to, uh, you know, an average guy. Like, yeah, I feel like even if I wasn't on um, Instagram, even people that aren't, girls that aren't on Instagram or aren't Instagram famous, you know, people are still intimidated to go up and talk to them. So, so you're being who I am, right. So I don't know. Some people just go for it, and then others are just like, Mm-mm, I'm not approaching. Today. Do you mind? Sh- I think you should honestly publish or write a book or, or do a blog on this because you've really mastered the art and the craft of Instagram. There's so many of our viewers, our listeners that, you know, want to be Insta famous and, and want to have followers or want to just get their message out. There's so many great motivational people yeah. out there, people that are providing great health solutions for people that are dealing with same elements. Share some of your tips, some of your strategies, because I think that people are hungry for solutions. They're hungry for answers, what to post, when to post, where to tag, hashtags. Share some of your tips and tricks. We'd appreciate it. I feel like when I started Instagram, things were a lot different than it is now. Well, definitely, because when I started Instagram, there weren't that many people on there like there is today. Now everyone wants to do something on Instagram. So it just became a lot more, it's a lot trickier now. Like there's a lot of tips and tricks to get yourself up there. And I feel like, what works for me might not work for someone else, you know? So it's just about finding what works for you. And a lot of people have different things that work for them and it works, you know, but not necessarily like if I tried it on my page, it's not going to help me. So I feel like for me, it's being organic. Like I was saying before, like just being real with everyone that people love that people love when you're real and you're authentic. And, um, I try to be engaging because that shows people that like, oh, wow, she actually cares about her fans and Mm -hmm. she doesn't just, oh, not uh, acknowledge any of us. So they keep commenting because they know that I'm going to like talk to them, you know. So I feel like it's a lot about engaging with your fans and letting them know that you care and um, being consistent. Consistency is everything. So you can't get discouraged when something doesn't do good. Like before, I would have a photo do really bad on my page and I'd get so frustrated. I'm like, I'm going to delete this post. Like it didn't do, it didn't perform as well as I thought. But at the end of the day, like if you like the picture, it doesn't matter what people think. And that's why I like the fact that Instagram might get rid of the likes. That's the only reason why that would like, that would benefit me is in that aspect is that if I like the picture and other people don't like it or doesn't perform as good as I thought, then no one's going to know, you know, like there's going to be no likes and it's not going to affect what I think. Like, oh, I should delete this. It didn't do as good. People didn't like it, you know, because that's a negative way to think. Like if you like it, that's all that matters. 
And a lot of my friends, like, they come to me, they're like, oh, I feel so discouraged. Like, this didn't do good. My page is doing so bad. I'm like, listen, you can't give up because, like, if you let that get to your head, you won't you won't do well on Instagram. You just got to be really strong. I feel like uh, it could be – it'll drive you crazy if you start comparing your posts to other people's posts that have around the same followers as you because everyone's page is so different and the engagement is so different. You don't know if people are buying their likes. You don't know if people are buying their followers. So you just really can't compare your page and yourself to anyone and I feel like that's where a lot of people go wrong and give up on Instagram because they're too busy comparing, you know, just focus on you and growing your page and doing what you love. And that's what I try to do the most. No, that's some great advice. And, yeah, and, for and, sure. And that's real. That I think, that, listen, it's it's a lot of work. That's yeah. the bottom line is. People don't understand that, it, though. They think it's so easy. Right. They're like, oh, you're, you're an Instagram model. Like, all you do is take pictures all day. But it's not that easy. You don't just go out and take a good pictures. Like, some, some days you'll have those days where you're like, get the picture, like, bam, right there, you know? And then other days, it's it's frustrating. You, you don't get the shot. And, I mean, I'm I work every day, every single day probably all day long because I, I own a business and I have my page. So just to keep up with everything, I'm shooting every single day. And if I don't shoot, then by the end of the month, I'm like, oh, my God, like I didn't do this, I didn't do that, and I just don't feel accomplished. So I try to shoot every single day. And when you're not shooting, like you said, you're engaging and, and you're Yeah, I mean, you're, I'm always fine, like emails, like there's always something going on. How do you – so this is a question I always have for the Insta Famous is I'm sure you get DM'd crazy stuff all day long, but – through those DMs, there's got to be some great opportunities that people yeah. are DMing you. Do you have I'm to read sure. every single DM to find them? What's your how do I'm you how do you how do you sift through those? Right, I'm sure that I miss out on a lot of things because it's hard. You know, it's hard to keep up with everything, and you don't want to just take on uh, any project, work with any brand. So, I feel like for the most part, I'm really good at that. Like, I'm really good at filtering out like what I I believe is legit and that's going to benefit me and that my followers are going to like as well. But I think that I do miss out on a lot of different opportunities because you never know. You never know who to give believe me, and what to believe. Give me your password and, and I'll start handling all your DMs. <laughs> okay, please. <laughs> yeah, Too many. DMs, DMs are kind of crazy though. Like the people that like reach out through DMs, like you never imagine sometimes, you know? And I don't know. It's insane. We are talking to Bruna Lima, XOO Bruna on Instagram. Three million followers just on Instagram alone. Don't go into Twitter and Facebook and all the other platforms that she's on. Founder and CEO of Brewkinis, which we have to get into. We're just talking right now, just Instagram, the ins and outs, because so many of our viewers and listeners come from Instagram. They all want to, again, like I said, gain more exposure, more awareness for whatever cause, whatever message you're trying to send out. What's some great Instagram accounts that you follow that you love that are doing awesome? Hmm, that's What's a your good favorite question. Follows? Um, I love following like inspirational pages that just give me inspiration, even like different girls that do um, fashion posts. Cause then that, so a lot of times I do scroll through my feed just to get inspiration really. And I love following like Gary V obviously, like he's so inspiring, just inspiring people, people that I know that I'm, I'm following for a, a reason, you know, like there's a reason that I follow them. And um, I, I try to stay off like the explore page because I don't know, just, I don't like to see things. I like to follow, follow just inspiring people, things and pages that are going to like lift me up, you know? So explore, just so I understand, that means you're only following people that you follow, that you're exploring. Yeah, so I usually just things. go down my feed right? You're because only... that's already like time consuming. I try to engage with the people that are on there. I try to just stay off the explore page where you find other pages and other people. So yeah, I just try to stay within who I follow and that way I'm engaging with those people as well because that's important too, like engaging with people that follow you because then or that you follow because then they follow you back and they start engaging as well. And I formed a lot of um, friendships through Instagram, which is crazy. Like a lot of Instagram friends that we've never, like we've never met each other, but when we see each other post, we're like commenting, like we're friends, like we're best friends. That's fun. And yeah. when you guys do meet each other, it's probably like you guys are friends. Yeah. We're like, we already know each other. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's kind of funny too, is like you bump into people and they kind of think they know you or they feel like they already are all caught up in right. your life because you're seeing what I want you to see. It's so, so crazy. Like sometimes I feel so connected to people that I don't even know and just through Instagram. And that's that's why I love it. Yeah, it, it has a lot more pros than in my opinion cons. It's a great tool for businesses, small, medium, or large, for influencers, for you know charities, whatever the case may right. be. It, 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 to me, it's the best social media app that we've seen out there. And um, we appreciate you kind of sharing a lot of your expertise and insights because uh, some of those were some hidden gem secrets there. Yeah, when but I, when but I, it's work. Like you said, you got to stay consistent and you got to work at it. Right. When I started, I had no clue what I was doing. I would just post to post 
which on, honestly is kind of like good too, you know, because you're just like posting what you love and what you think people are going to like. Now I kind of know already what people like and, you know, but before I was like figuring everything out. So I would just post whatever and it would still do good. And now I feel like I'm just, if I don't get what I know people like, I get frustrated and I'm not just like posting for me anymore. Sometimes I do, but most of the time I'm like, okay, I know that this is going to perform well. I need to post this. I need to do things this way. So now I kind of already know like the loops of what does good, what doesn't. When Bruna is not Instagramming, it's all business. We're going to be talking about her Brukini bikini line. It is sexy. It is fashionable. It looks comfortable. It looks great. I've already ordered a couple for my wife, but I don't know if she has the butt for it is what my producer said. Not nice back there. Hopefully she didn't see that cut. <laughs> Kidding. So let's talk to Bruna Lima, the founder, the creator of the Brukini bikini line, the Brazilian bikini line. There we go. So sexy, so beautiful. Tell me everything about this, what made you create this and why you wanted to do it and the whole the whole kind of baby behind it. So it was all just an idea because I was started working with a lot of bikini brands on Instagram and I was helping promote them, but I didn't really love the bikinis. I was so used to Brazilian bikinis, not even just for the cut, but for the weight, like the fabric, just everything about the Brazilian bikini is, is amazing. And when people get their hands on it, they could really see a difference between a Brazilian uh, re and a regular bikini. And so I was working for a lot of different bikini brands and didn't really like find the perfect bikini that I would wear all the time. And and so I was like, why am I helping these companies grow when I can just start something of my own and something that I really like and that I think people are going to really like as well. And so that's how Brukini, Brukinis came about. I was talking about starting it with my cousin in Brazil. And I was like telling him all my ideas. And he's kind of the one that put everything to life because he helped me find manufacturer and he helped me with everything. And now it is what it is. Like I, I know I picked up everything. I know how to do everything. And I basically run, it's a family owned business. So I run everything with myself and with my family. And, and you get to be one of the spokesmodels as well. Oh, so you yeah. save some so, money on, uh, on models. Right. And that's the amazing thing about Instagram is that like you make so many, you, you meet so many influencers and so many friends and it's to the point where like they'll promote for you as well. And you're no longer like spending as much money on marketing because you have Instagram and you have the, my, my friends are like Instagram famous too. So they'll, and they love the product. Like once they get their hands on the product, they're like, you need to send me more, you know? So they'll kind of promote for me for free because they love it. Is it is it a hard aspect to try to make it fashionable, but also you want it to be comfortable? Uh, not not really. I find that that's the easy part. Mm -hmm. I feel like the the materials that I work with right now, the fabrics are so comfortable, and that's what makes it special. When they when people get their hands on it, they're like, "Wow, this is so soft. It fits so good." And they just keep a lot of our customers are returning customers, which is great. And but I just like try to keep up with uh, what I see online and what what I like, you know? So, yeah, I wanted to know how you, like, stay on top of just, like, style and trends. Right, so I'll, I'll find, like, a bikini that I like, and I'll make it my own way. So I'll be like, oh, I like this bikini, but I don't like this, I don't like this, and I'll have, like, my manufacturer send me samples of what he comes up with, and that's how I kind of pick, and he'll send me what's trending in Brazil, and sometimes I like it, sometimes I don't like it, because it's different from our trends, you know? So I just try to do what I like, honestly, and, like, um, I get a lot of help from my cousin as well, and the cool thing about the bikinis, at least in my opinion, is that the one pieces, you can dress them up too. And that's what makes it so cool. A lot of my friends wear them as shirts, actually. So they'll put like jeans and skirts over them. And it looks so nice. And it's comfortable. It's form-fitting. It's It really, really makes the body look nice. It squeezes you like a glove. Like, I love them. All right. So that that is a nice fact. So you could wear the bikini tops or some of these one pieces as normal tops. As oh, yeah. And it looks good too. Like, it doesn't even look like – some of them don't even look like – actual bikinis and that's the cool part about it well guess what they don't have to take your word for it we actually have a model in here you brought your friend marjorie, marjorie major come right them. come on in here into the studio so tell us exactly what this is and how you styled it he's uh, wearing the uh -huh. clementine one piece and she's wearing it as a shirt with the skirt you see and it's like low in the back and then she could also take the skirt off and it's a one piece <laughs> So yeah, I think that's what the cool thing about it is, is that you can wear it with pants, with skirts, with shorts, and it just looks cute. And this is all purchasable right on your website, right? Right. This is all you can e go on www.brukinis.com and you can purchase right there. 
They're beautiful. Thank Any you. other pieces you brought? Yeah, I brought a few Marjorie, other pieces. Marjorie, let's put you to I work actually, out here. I actually um, brought one of my newest bikinis, which is something that I like. I spent some time on. It's a reversible one, and it is so cute. So let's have her put that on so you guys can see what it looks like. Cool. And we're going to look at some of your other uh, lines here as we're as we're talking here because I didn't know you had this much of a, of a ride. I mean, you have a lot of SKUs here. you got a yeah, lot yeah. of options. Right now we have a lot of the different um, options. We just released, so... Is the one piece popular right now? Yeah, I feel like the one pieces are one of our most popular products right now. I feel like one piece has made a big comeback. Yeah, and the way that I de I design them, I do like the slits on the sides and like the low cut back, the scrunch butts. I feel like it's just perfect. It's ideal. All so right, so tell us what uh, what we have on here. So that's the reversible bikini that you see how she's wearing the black on top and then the print on the bottom. So the other side. So is it's the a two for one deal with this. Right. Exactly. That's great. So the other side is actually the same print and the same thing with the bottoms. It could be black or it could, you could do the print. So actually, wait. So it's actually like four in one. So you could go right. black bottom. You that's could go so color true. top. You could go black, black. All exactly. Color. Exactly. Is that, that's cool, the reversible style. Yeah, I love no it. No tags or anything? This is the first time that I'm trying this one on. And so it's really soft, right? Very soft. Yeah. So the material that we're working with right now is just so flattering. It's so soft. And when people get their hands on it, they, like, love it. So we just released a bunch of new bikinis right now, and those are the ones that I brought for Marjorie to try for you guys. And we did a new crop one, which is, like, a little crop top you could also wear with your shorts and your shirt and your jeans. And um, we have some new bottoms as well that she's going to try right now. I love the name Brucchini. Thank you. I, Who thought of it? The family? I did. Did you? I thought of you it. You really did it all with this brand and everything. <laughs> I won't take all the credit, but I definitely thought of Brukinis. I wanted to affiliate my name somehow, some way, so I felt like that was the perfect name. And everyone that sees me, they're like, I love that name. It's awesome. Yeah. Can you please make me something? <laughs> you know, that's my next step. I was thinking of doing, like, um, his and hers style bikinis. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> Only here, still, here first on the Talk Golden right, Video I'm Podcast. I'm still show. working on it right now because it's hard. I don't really understand guys' fashion or, like, I don't know really what guys are going to like. So, But a lot of my fans actually obviously have a lot of guy fans. So they said, oh, we'd buy just to support you. And I know that a lot of guys buy for their wives on my site. So – so I the wives love, and girlfriends. I love the I love the his and her matching suits. You think that's cool, right? Vacations. Even if I do just like a limited edition, like a one one time thing, where just to see how it goes, I think that I'm definitely going to try that out. So those, um, what Marjorie's wearing right now, that's our new bottoms. They're the ringer bottoms. They have like the rings on the sides, and then the top is the the crop tops, and you can tie them like that. You can tie it long ways. It is so freaking cute. <laughs> and is this reversible they're as like well? The top? No, they're not. Okay. Yeah. What'd you say? I feel like I'm going to Jamaica. <laughs> I think we named one of those. That one's Congo, yeah. Oh, who knows? <laughs> who comes up with all the names? So that's funny. Um, I come up with the names. I get my friends and put Marjorie helps with the names sometimes as well. So the other day we were all just sitting at my house and we were like, what does this look like? What does this one look like? And we were all just like naming bikinis. <laughs> that's so fun. Yeah, yeah I love so it. Fun. I try to like look at the bikini and envision where I would wear it. And I would like name it after like an island or like a beach or like a cool place. And what the Brazilian style bikini, it's not called like a G string, it's not called a thong, it's just called a Brazilian, yeah, right? Yeah, it's just like a Brazilian cut, I feel like. Brazilian and cut. I just yeah. want to be educated on the, on the different right. cuts. And I mean, there's a lot of different cuts that I do on my side. I don't necessarily just do one cut and call it like a Brazilian cut, you know? So I have something that fit, that's for everyone. And we just released new bottoms right now. I don't have them with me, but they're hip hugger bottoms. So they're a little bit thicker and they're thicker on the sides as well. Just for, you know, I, I want to do something that's going to be for everyone. And I know not everyone feels comfortable enough to wear a Brazilian style bikini, like a thong bikini. So it's important to me to do something that everyone could wear. We are talking to Bruna Lima, Instagram, famous Instagram star, creator, founder of the Brukini Brazilian Cut Bikini line, which are just fabulous. And you heard it right there from her model that, you know, not only do they look great, but she's saying how soft and comfortable yeah. they are. I um, really like the fact that you're incorporating that like in everyday fashion lifestyle using the the one pieces. Right, I right. I like that a lot. And, you know, like I started doing it and then my friends started doing it and 
I know I have some friends that like they still message me today and they're like, I I have like things from your first collection that I never leaves my purse. Like it's always in my purse. It's an essential for me. So that's like so cool to me to see that like people actually really like the product and it's not just something like because it's you know when you make something and it's yours, you love it, but then it's so great when other people love it as well. And for me right now, it's uh, I'm trying to like do something that sets myself apart from all the other brands, and that's what I'm trying to work on now. And I think like we have these new bottoms that I'm releasing soon. I don't want to talk about them yet, but I feel like it's gonna set me apart from these other brands. Ooh, stay tuned. Yeah, stay tuned. Yes, that's yes. exciting. You just have to be just so you know proud of yourself. You had you had this vision and you made it a reality. You, this was something you always wanted to do, and. Um, I'm proud of you, and I just Thank think it's, it's just an awesome accomplishment what you're doing. Yeah, I mean, I, f I never, ever in a million years imagined that this is what I would be doing. Right now with my life, I actually was in school at one point, and, you know, I'm like, my mom's like, school, 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 but it just wasn't for me. You know, I started doing Instagram, and it started taking up a lot of my time, and I'm like, if I'm doing well in this, I'm just going to go all in and just do it for real. And so that's when I stopped school. I was actually at Palm Beach State. And I almost finished the first two years, and I was like, I'm just going to stop. And then if this doesn't go right, I'll go back. And then went f head on and just did everything. And now, like, I'm, it's like the best decision I've made. And keep going. A lot more to come, which is exciting. It yeah, seems for like sure. you're still I don't, hungry, too. I right, mean, right. I, I, that's like my daily struggle is trying to do too much. And, like, I just have to take a few steps back and realize that I'm already doing so much and that I drive myself crazy sometimes because I'm like, how did people do this and this and this? I want to do that. You know, like there's so many things that you can do and that's the crazy part about it and it can drive you crazy because you're like, which way do I go? Like, what do I do next? And Yeah, time mind, management's probably important to you oh, where to focus your time and energy. Yeah, and that's what I'm horrible at. I think I can do a million things at once and I, I drive myself crazy. But, you know, I feel like you got to be that way and um, it works for me. Like. I take on so many products. Yeah, because I think a lot projects. of people want to delegate. They want to delegate things, but you know that you know what you want it. You know how you want it done. You know you'll you'll get it done. And it's right. hard to kind of trust and, and release things, especially because all this stuff is your name. It's your brand. So when I first started Instagram, I was like, I'm going to keep it fitness related. I'm only going to do fitness on Instagram. And then I started doing bikinis. I started doing fashion. And I feel like you have to be that way. You know, like you have to kind of move from one thing to the other because then you get people that – have different interests following you. Maybe someone doesn't like fitness, but they like bikinis, so they're following me for bikinis. Maybe they don't like fitness or bikinis, they're following me for fashion, you know? So I feel like it's cool to do a little bit of everything. And what? it all correlates, you know? Like, um, I feel like when I'm shooting a bikini, I could be doing fitness and my bikini line. So I'm doing, I'm working out and I'm showcasing my bikinis, which are two things that I love to do, so. We are talking to Bruna Lima, Instagram star, creator, founder of the Burkini Fashion Line. What's something you've learned in life, one of the most important things you've learned in life so far? Um, to always be yourself and always try to do your best to control your mind because your mind is so powerful and it will take over if you let it. So to me, I feel like that's so important is just being you and being true to yourself. I like that. That's a little bit of just some, we like to call those golden nuggets. So uh, we share those with our viewers. Now, are you ready to play a little fun game? Sure. Okay, if you win this, I have a little prize for you. It's called Word for Word, okay? Take okay. a deep breath. You have to say the first word that comes to your mind when I just say a word or a person's name. You can okay. only say one word, okay? Okay. You understand the game? Welcome to One word? word? Yeah, you only could say one word, the first word that comes to your mind when I say something. Okay. You understand the rules? Yeah. Are you sure now? Mm hmm Okay, don't fail this. Okay. If you if you fail the game, it's a severe punishment. Okay. Come on, I have faith in you. All right, we're going to play word for word on the Talk Golden to Me video interview podcast show, the longest name of a podcast show. I keep adding words to our show. But this is word for word <laughs> with Bruna Lima. Are you ready? Ready. Okay, producer, give me some background music. It gets us fired up and more exciting. Here we go. Say the first word that comes to your mind. Here we go. Ready? Netflix. Blacklist. Brazil. Uh, Rio. <laughs> Kardashian. Kim. Beach. Uh, Jacob. <laughs> Nostrils. Nose. Hooters. Boobs. <laughs> Beef jerky. Oh. Oh. South Beach. <laughs> Miami. MySpace. Wow. <laughs> Eggplant. Penis. <laughs> Fashion. Nova. Space. Cadet. Tequila. Shots. And that is word for word <laughs> with Bruna Lima, 100%. Great job. Very proud of you. You played that game before? Yes, no. <laughs> you know what your prize is? What? You get to eat a piece of gold wow. with me on the Talk Golden Be Video Podcast. Wow, now I'm is really this... going to be made of gold. <laughs> yeah, wait till you see when it comes out. Um, you're not allergic to this, I don't think. Here you go. Here is Bruna's piece of gold. I always have a piece with you. Cheers. Cheers. 
That's my girl. She already knows. Okay, here we go. Uh, you want some? It's delicious. Put hair wow. in your chest. How is it? Tell me how the gold was for you. Amazing. I do this every day. People say it's orgasmic. I believe it. <laughs> <laughs> this is Bruna Lima. We appreciate your time coming on the show. Thank you, guys. You I, are honest. I loved being here. We loved having you. You're honest. You're fun. You're inspiring the way you're from fitness to your business. So many amazing things that you're doing. I think you're an inspiration for a lot of our viewers and listeners. A lot of female entrepreneurs go out there and get it. Instagram, you got a lot of great tips and, and it's strategies. it's so crazy there. being here because I actually have known you guys for so long, and it feels like. And I've known you guys when I first started. So it's crazy like that I'm here right now. It's cool that Bruna followed me before I ever followed her on Instagram. So, Did I? Uh, uh, Did I? Uh, uh, I don't know about all that, guys. <laughs> Thank you, viewers, listeners, for joining us on another episode. We appreciate your time. Go to uh, brucinis.com. Get, your, get some. These things are awesome. They're sexy. They're beautiful. And like I said, it's not just something you can wear on the beach year-round. Throw it on. Be creative. Got great style tips right on the website. Follow her on Instagram. The What is that? Is it? At XO. Bruno. But is it Kiss Hug Hug? Is that what it is? Yeah, that's what it is. Uh, like don't it. ask me why I named myself that on Instagram, but now everyone knows me as that, so I don't want to change it. You can't change but, it. Right. And I wanted XOXO at the time, but it was taken so then XOO. Hey, stick <laughs> it with works it. out, you know? XOO, Bruna Lima on Instagram. She will engage with you back, so go follow her. Viewers and listeners, like I said, we appreciate your time. Like, subscribe, share, do all those fun things. It helps us bring on guests like the Bruna Lima. I'm smiling, but I might have gold in my teeth. <laughs> no, you look good. You look good. It's delicious, isn't it? Yeah. Thank you. We're out of here. Peace.